Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, and hope you're all doing well. I'm just sitting here scouting locations. I'm on the northern part of California's coast. Last time you saw me, I was in Monterey, about five to six hours north of that now. And I've been here all day today looking for locations. And I scouted this one earlier, but as you can tell, the tide is a little higher than it was uh, when I scouted it, because my plan was to take those rocks that are in the <laughs> that are in the water right now in my shot. Uh, and that's not really possible. Also, you may have watched me walk through this little section here. And if the tide keeps coming in, I'm not gonna be able to get out. So what I'm gonna do is try to find another composition, try to find something else to work with, but also keep my safety in mind because I don't wanna get stuck in this little section that I'm in. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and try to include you guys along the way as best as possible. Oh boy, the wind. The wind has been absolutely insane since the last episode. And thankfully it's not bad down here, but it is just every day been, I'll put a, I'll put a video on the screen now. It's been insane. <laughs> All right, let's find another composition and uh, cross your fingers. All right, so what I've decided to do is come back around this corner, come away from that little cove, come up to a higher spot where I can leave all of my heavy stuff, including that camera. And then I can just walk around with my camera and lens looking for shots so that if I do get caught or out there or something, all of my stuff is safely back here. So I'm gonna look for shots again now that my stuff is definitely safe because it was getting close and I didn't want to risk it. All right, so I've switched to my 7200 because none of the wide angle shots were appealing to me. I definitely think I need to wait for the sun to go down a little bit more. Still about 20 minutes till actual sunset, maybe 15. The problem is ever since I've been on the coast, the marine layer has blocked the sun from the actual sunset. It happened all the way back in the episodes you watched before of me down in Pfeiffer Beach. And that has been happening ever since then. And obviously my composition did not work out over here in these rocks because of the tide. So switching to the 7200, trying to get creative, trying to see if there's anything off in the distance that I want to shoot or looks appealing. But honestly, I don't know if I'm going to get anything. And that's kind of something I want to talk about further throughout this episode is going through ruts or going through periods in your photography journey where you're either not capturing moments that really excite you or you're just feeling like your images that you're taking recently just aren't giving you that, that excitement when you take them or when you go to edit them. I've been feeling that a lot recently in the last month and it's something that I actually started to talk about on my Discord channel, which link down below if you wanna join, just asking if anyone else goes through it. And I know I've been through it before, but I think it's really important to talk about it in the sense that everyone goes through it. That feeling that every image you take or you're going through a whole period of time and none of the images you're coming back with. <laughs> none of the images you're coming back with are, uh, are what you wanted or giving you, I don't know, joy, excitement. You're not like, because there's been times where I'll go take a photo and I'm like, this is gonna turn out great. And I'm excited to go edit it and I can't wait to get it on there and do the edit and see the results. And I just haven't felt that way recently. Every time I open Lightroom, I just look at my images and I'm like, ugh, yeah, none of this, none of this is exciting me. So I definitely wanna talk about that more. I'm gonna try to get a shot here and maybe we'll talk about that more uh, Tomorrow, it's supposed to rain for the next couple days, so not entirely sure I'll be filming or taking any photographs. We'll have to wait and see what the conditions are. So, uh, let's get a photo. Let's try to find something. Let's do this. <laughs> All right, so I was completely wrong. The sun actually set like three minutes after I, uh, after I finished talking to you because you're not gonna be able to see it, but it went behind that marine layer like I was saying. But I did get two shots off that may have worked super quick. Like I said, switch my 7200. What I did is I got super low to the ground, super low like this. I'm not sure you'll be able to see that. 
And what'll happen is as those rocks are wet, as the tide comes in and out, they start to reflect that sunset light. So I'm shooting directly into the sun, F4, so that the light that's reflecting or refracting off those rocks has more of a blur to it. And then I'm focusing all the way on the background, causing those rocks to be out of focus even more. Not entirely sure it turned out, but it could look cool like little Christmas lights almost caused by the rocks. And the second shot I just took was the sun being silhouetted by those clouds that are happening back there. And it's kind of cool, the clouds almost look like the rock that was underneath it. I'm gonna put both on the screen, even if they're absolutely terrible, just so you guys have an idea of what I just talked about. And uh, yeah, we're gonna keep going. I'm gonna obviously wrap up here since the sun is setting and uh, no telling when the rest of this episode will be filmed, but we are definitely gonna talk more about loving our images, being in ruts, uh, and just all around dealing with those emotions and feelings behind the excitement or lack of excitement when we're shooting photos or doing photography. Okay, that's my cue to go. climbed out of the bed and it was definitely raining overcast this morning but what's awesome this is what's awesome do you see those things those those are called clouds and i haven't seen those in weeks clouds i'm excited about clouds okay that's it that's all i wanted to say All right, so it has rained a few times today. And as I mentioned this morning, there are clouds. I haven't seen a cloud in two weeks. <laughs> There's a really cool cloud happening right here. I'm not gonna be able to get in the whole video here. I'll put it up on the screen now. It's just this long cloud across the sky that's got the sun on one side and then not the sun on the other side. <laughs> right now it's a, uh, it's about 5.30, I think, ish. And I'm kind of just walking around this area looking for potential shots for sunset. But because of the way conditions are, we might get something now. I don't have my camera gear on me. I'm not too far away from the car. I'm just kind of trying to get a lay of the land before I pack anything up. Could rain at some point. Could, uh, also, it is very windy as I've been dealing with. So I don't really want to carry very much stuff around if I can get away with it. So I'm gonna look for shots, look for interesting things, and then uh, hopefully we make some shots. That would be great. Clouds, who would've thought? <laughs> camera 
and the other stuff, we're gonna get some shots. It's gonna happen. I'm feeling it. I feel it. There's clouds, there's atmosphere, there's sun. We're gonna do something. We're gonna get something. Let's get stuff. It's already pretty much ready to go from yesterday. But I need to get some water. So let's do that. Five hours later. I'm taking forever. All right. Also, if you guys are new to the channel, I live full time in that Forerunner, and uh, I'm going to be doing a breakdown on living in it full time for one year on this very channel in the next month. So make sure you're subscribed if you aren't already. You're into that kind of thing. All right, I look like a complete moron, but that's okay. Staying warm. All right, here we go. Let's find a composition. Gotten rid of the backpack, gone super minimal. Only this camera and the tripod and two filters in my pockets. We're gonna go try to get a shot. It is quite windy and mostly very wet. I cannot keep my glasses clean. Not sure if you can see it right now, but I cannot keep them dry. So we're gonna go try to get a composition. I think I found one. Try to set it up, see if, the, see if we get what we want. Cross your fingers. I'm feeling good. I am feeling good, but I'm still weary that I'm gonna be able to keep my camera dry. I'm not gonna be able to include you very much down there, but I wanted to film this, get down there and try to snap some photos. I don't know if it's gonna work. I'm hoping that the sun will set before those clouds roll in over here or the wind dies down a little bit. I, I'm not even taking my tripod over there. I'm just gonna try to hand hold the shot if I can. All right, here we go. Wish me luck. I hate the wind. Oh. All right, as luck would have it, sun went behind giant cloud right before the sun was setting. I might have gotten something in there though. I won't really know until I get on the computer. Would have loved a focus stack. No way in heck that was happening. No way I was gonna get a tripod there or keep my lens clean. I think what I'm gonna try to do now is these clouds look pretty cool back here. I'm gonna switch to telephoto, maybe get a few shots before the sun fully sets. It's hilarious though, if you look, this entire skyline, the sun happens to be right where that cloud is rather than anywhere else can't get a dang sunset to save my life all right let's switch lenses see if we get anything of these clouds no clue 
if we got anything. Like I said, I took the telephoto out and uh, I didn't shoot anything with it. Clouds kind of, the light on the clouds kind of disappeared pretty quick. There was a cool tree off in the distance, but some houses were blocking it. And uh, I think that's a great transition into more talk about uh, not getting or feeling successful with your recent photos or going through a creative rut in that way. And what I mean by that is recently I have particularly just in the last month haven't been excited about the photos I've either taken or the moments that I'm taking them or something like that. And in the past what I used to do is just take a break. And I think that's probably the best suggestion for anyone out there is to just take a break. And what will happen is you'll take a break and then when you come back to photography for whatever you use it for, whatever you need it for, or anything like that, it'll seem fun again. All those little things that you're not looking for the next insane image or, you know, the best. I guess I never locked my car. Whoops. You're not looking for the next best image or insane conditions. You just want to get out, snap some photos. And then a lot of the times you'll end up just being surprised or excited because you were surprised because your expectations were much lower because you stopped focusing on photography. You just took that break that you really needed. And that'll really help reinvigorate your passion. And it's what I used to do all the time. I would go on trips, take some great photos, feel good about them, come back, edit those photos, and then kind of take a break. And I think being on the road and doing this full time and just always thinking or shooting or filming or whatever, editing, everything photography related, there are no breaks. It's just always creating something. And it means that I don't get that lull, I don't get that downtime to just sit there and not think or do anything photography related and get back out there and every little thing uh, matters and every little thing is exciting again. So right now I'm trying to navigate how I want to handle that and I think what it'll really take, honestly, is just some really good conditions one day. And I've been, I wouldn't say struggling, but if you watch the last couple episodes or the last couple times I've tried to shoot over the last 10 to 14 days, it is, it has been tough. Uh, the conditions are absolutely miserable. Like out there, just getting sea sprayed, the wind gust, everything, it's just been really, really tough. And that adds to the, or I guess subtracts from that potential enjoyment. And I just haven't been enjoying it as much. What's actually funny is out there shooting, I'm enjoying trying. Like I'm, I'm, I'm hyped to get out there and try to find something. I just wish I could come away with something I really wanted. I wish the conditions or clouds or the sun wouldn't get blocked by the clouds at least once. I think what's really happening is a lot of the times I've been going back to my edits and just not being that excited for the photos that I've already captured. And it's not necessarily a condition-based thing. I think it's just one of, those, one of those periods in my photography journey where I'm just on a down, which is strange because I'm actually extremely happy with life right now and feeling really good. So it's a weird contrast that I just haven't been excited about my photography recently. So I don't know if that's insightful. I don't know if that helps at all. I know for a lot of people out there, just taking a break can be super helpful. And uh, for those of you that don't get breaks, trying to navigate or go through those paces and push through, I'm right there with you. So thanks for watching. Here's the shots that we just got if we got anything. And uh, the next stuff. It's supposed to rain for the next four days, I think. Oh, maybe not here. I don't remember. <laughs> Anyways, shots. Here they are. I've rambled on enough. Enjoy. editing this episode here at the community center in Fort Bragg, which by the way, I've had a lot of people ask me how I shower on the road and this is one of those answers. A lot of the times in these smaller towns, community centers like this exist where you can just go pay to shower or use their pools or even use their gym. They're kind of a staple in a lot of these smaller communities and I highly recommend them on the road because usually they're really nice and not super expensive. I've been charging up my batteries, preparing for the rain that is coming and this episode is getting pretty long so I'm actually going to end it here. 
However, you can tell in the background there are clouds, and if those remain, hopefully tonight we get some sunset color, because as you can tell, it is not nearly as windy as it has been in the last 10 days. So I'm super stoked for tonight, but you're gonna have to wait for next week's episode. And of course, the sun went behind clouds. And it's that trying to decide on the composition was very difficult because I needed to imagine what it would look like as the water was coming up. Here's hoping I don't get my feet wet. Anyways, one thing I wanted to know down in the comments below, do you guys like these vlog styles a little bit more? More of me talking through in kind of a run and gun kind of way, or do you like a slower paced with more B-roll and less of me talking? I would love to know your feedback down below. And as always, if you like the video, you can like it. If you love the video, consider subscribing and stay tuned for next week. I'll see you again then. Peace. What do you say?